All right, what's going on, escapees? So today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys a little bit of mapping, a little bit of this, a little bit of that on my embroidery, embroidery and brilliance. And brilliance has gotta be one of the top, top, um, uh, you know, thingies, my jobs, okay? If, you sing, if, you, if you're thinking, okay, this guy's a little kid, he doesn't know what he's doing, all right? I know what I'm doing, okay? I'll show you the results at the end. And um, I just think, you know, you always get these uh, b old boring grandmas, nothing wrong with old boring grandmas sometimes, and you just want somebody a little more hyped, somebody a little more your age, maybe. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> I, you can't, wisdom is um, earned, and anyways, blah, 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 who cares? So today, I'm going to be doing this guy, Naruto. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to map him. It's going to be really simple, okay? We're going to start off simple, work, work our way up. There's a little R's in that sentence, I'm ESL. So first things first, you go on Google, you search up what you want to search up, all right? Uh, whatever you want, boom, you get your picture. So all you can do, you're going to copy the image, right-click it, copy image. This is the image I want. And then I'm going to search up, whoa, that's my thing I used to record. Okay, so I'm going to search up paint. Uh, everyone, I'm pretty sure paint is like defaulted um, uh, and it's free if you don't have it. So everyone has it. And then we're going to copy uh, control V. That's going to paste our photo that we just copied. We're going to go up here or sorry, we're going to click here if it's not selected already, the little box. And you're just going to cut out wherever it is. You hey, By the way, if you want, you don't want to do this, you don't have to cut out your image. Today. Just forget this. But for me, I don't want to do, I just want his a specific part of his face. I'm thinking maybe a little something like, oops, uh, maybe don't touch that. I am usually do like around the top of the ear and then like there and then crop. And that's pretty good. So anyways, once you get whatever, um, by the way, I just clicked crop up here. Once I selected it, you click crop, file, save as, this is um, pain eyes. I'm gonna open up my brilliant software, go down here, boom. And then just drag and drop it. You're gonna be like, whoa, where's the photo at? Let's relax, bucko. You gotta go up here to this little scaffolding on create because you're gonna start off on select objects. Create is where you can actually start doing whatever you wanna do. Select is basically what it says, select. All you can do is select. This is where you get your stitches and stuff. So you click the little scaffold, click this image. It's gonna show or hide your image. Um, and then this button under is gonna show or hide your stitches if you ever wanna do that. Anyways, so I'm gonna click, left click on this. I'm gonna shift and left click uh, while holding it. And I'm just gonna like, Get it to around the size I want it. It's usually around here, maybe a little bit smaller actually. I usually go until this like there's one uh, box left, just right here. Um, if you want to go, if you want your boxes to be this small, go back to your select mode, and right here on the left you got inches uh, or millimeters. So as you can see, I use a five by seven, so like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so seven and then height five, because that's the biggest my machine can do. I just default leave it on that. Uh, but I, millimeters always work in millimeters. It's just better. So now I'm going to click number six on my keyboard. Um, you always want to uh, uh, digitize at a set scale, which means don't go, don't be going in and out left, you know, in, well, just in and out really just in and out. Okay. Cause don't go in and then out. You want to always stay at one scale, which is why I click number six, cause that takes me to 600% and I always embroider at that. So all I'm going to do guys, I'm going to show you how I'm going to get this to uh, hopefully no jumps, but maybe I might get a little jumps. Um, and I'm just going to show you, it's just, it's just going to be a little teaching curve. Even if you don't know who this is, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's just a photo I'm tracing out and I'm going to show you guys still tips and tricks that I've learned. Um, because I'm, I've, I've been learning for about six months now, so I still know how the beginner mind thinks. Um, cause I feel like a lot of pros forget that. Anyways, let's get right into it. So let's move the mic a little bit closer. All right. So I always just start off on the left side and then I make my way, um, to the middle, I guess. I go like left and then I copy and paste to the right and then they go to the middle usually. Um, probably not the best way, but it's the way I do it. So I'm thinking right now, so his outline is gonna be um, satin. However, there's all these like little things in the way, like all these, you'll see. There's just gonna be a lot of stopping and going, but I think that's what just has to happen. Um, so I'm gonna click my stitch up here, draw with points. Just gonna left click, left click, and then right click, and then make that 1.5. All right, we'll see how that turns out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so that's 1.5, and then I click, went back to drawing with the uh, with points, and I'm gonna outline this, and then click this one, satin column. I'm gonna click enter, and it's gonna I'm gonna tell what direction I want the stitches to be in. And so now, but first things first, before I go any further. I'm gonna change the color of this to black. So, so far, that's what I got, right? And then it's gonna go up here, and then it's just gonna be the same thing. So if you don't know what a blacked out 
um, I guess, embroiderer is. Um, by the way, I usually just like end up fixing it after. Like I'm not like that precise at the beginning. Blacked out means um, everything is black. His like I'm not gonna be doing his orange hair, um, his peach color skin or whatever, his gray, what whatever these are. Um, it's all gonna be black, blacked out. But the only thing that's going to be colored um, is his eyes. And the reason is because it just kind of makes it like look cool, I guess. I'm actually gonna use glow in the dark embroidery, um, glow in the dark embroider uh, thread. So I think that's just why it's gonna look way cooler. I have yet to see anyone do that, which is kind of crazy. Although glow in the dark embroidery thread is a little hard to use. Maybe that's why, like it just tends to break a lot. And even the reviews when I was first buying it, people said that and I was like, you know what? They're probably just noobs, but no, it just like I'm, I, I, li I follow the instructions and I kind of know what I'm doing. So yeah. So yeah, that's what blacked out means. Um, so I'm just going to keep on doing all this. All right. So I'm going to come up here, finish the ear and there we go. So you might be thinking number one, why did I do 1.5? Because I want this to be as small as I, as I possibly can. I only want this one millimeter long. So why am I not using one millimeter? Well, that's because a whole different video that I'm gonna have to explain, but pull compensation. This 1.5 millimeter is actually gonna shrink and turn into one millimeter. So it actually goes down 0.5 millimeters. Uh, so quite a bit. <laughs> okay, I guess it's not that much, but it's still, it goes down. And you might be thinking all these red, when I click spacebar and left click to move, there's all these red dots. That's gonna be when the machine's gonna stop. It's gonna tie itself out and then go to the end of that red dot line and then tie itself in, like it's gonna take way too long. So all I'm gonna do is click on the object and I'm gonna change the start and the end position. This red, this little red, like uh, whatever the shape is, hourglass is the end position. So if I just move it to the next line it's going to, then it's gonna have no, let's delete that. It's gonna have no jumps. So starts, end, and now we click J or I click, Space bar and left click, you see no jumps. So as of, uh, as of right now, this thing is just going, 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 going. There is basically no stopping. Um, and that's what you want. You wanna be t as time efficient as you can be. So there we go. There's his left ear. So anyways, so if you ever wanna go somewhere without having it to jump, cause you, like I said, you don't want jumps. Um, even if you're not gonna be able to see the jump, it just takes too much time. You're just gonna, uh, we're gonna go to wherever it is we wanna go. Um, so in this, so like for this, we want to go, I think here, and I'm cutting through this cause I know I'm going to fill this part in with black. And then, so what you want is you want to run. Okay. That's like, that's a little tip. There's tip number one, guys. Y'all writing that down? Little escapees, losers. Um, that's tip number one. You want to run to where you want to go. So like, and then here we go. End it. Uh, actually, no, don't end it. Go here. Like I said, it's not jumping, it's running. So it's always, the machine is just always gonna be constantly working, okay? You don't want it to stop, like, at all. Okay, and you might be thinking, why am I just, like, <laughs> half-assed cutting through all of this? That's because this, the first part I did is actually gonna come after, which means it's gonna be on, it's gonna be covering these stitches. Um, unlike right now, I'm doing it, um, before. So like I did this thing before, which means this is actually going to be under these. Cause I'm obviously I'm doing them after. Um, but I'm going to change that around. And then there's another little tip. I'll just explain very quickly. So, so far I taught you to, uh, basically just go to where you need to go with your run so that your machine never stops. Um, and another tip is, uh, let's see where the run go. You get to hide the stitch. Sometimes you have to like, like I had to go from here to that stitch. And like, it's not that big, like that's literally like a millimeter. But if you just place a dot in the middle, it should hide the stitch. Cause it's gonna like, the machine's gonna, it's hard to explain, but the needle's gonna go down and then go up. It's very hard to explain, but it's just gonna hide it. Anyways, so what I wanna do is, mm -hmm. well, first of all, I don't need that. I'm just gonna select all of these, the first one I did, and I'm gonna move first. There we go. So now this is all first and move this, <laughs> the photo. There we go. 
Mm, and when did I, where did I end off down here? Perfect. That is actually very perfect because now, mm, 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 trying to think. Yep. Now what I'm going to do is I gotta get rid of this random line, um, this gray part. So usually where there's like color, um, like I said, this is all blacked out. It's just going to be filled in with black. The outlines are black, like a big, uh, thick black line. And then the color is also black. So, and I don't know if you guys remember, I was talking about pull compensation. It's going to shrink, which is why I'm not hanging exactly on the gray line because it's going to shrink. So I need it to basically be perfect. So like that, there we go. And I think like there was a random line here. Oh no, it does need that. Okay. Keep that. If I click J, there is a jump. Uh, why is that a thing? Let's see. So as you can see guys, it's literally just what well, you don't ever want to jump. You always want to uh, use run stitches. Cause it's just going to like, it just get it's a run stitch is just a place to get you to travel somewhere. Okay. Just like that. By the way, if you hold control while left clicking, you do straight points. Okay. Um, so you want no jumps. You click J to show the jumps and you can travel under things that you know are going to be filled in because obviously you just won't be able to see it. See, look, I can't see the thing underneath it. So you just got to think about that. So when you're doing only outlines, you have to travel under the outline. Um, so as you can see here, whoops, I click something. So as you can see down here, there's something that's not traveling underneath that. So we'll just quickly do that. And then there we go. And there's going to be a border around um, the edges of it, which is why I did like that. Why this is okay here. Um, yeah. Here's that trick again. I know it's going to have to like, there we go. Just try to hide it in the middle. Okay. So there we go guys. And now I'm going to end it up here. I think. Mm hmm. And now what do I want to do my friends? So firstly, just do a quick run there. Cause I don't know if that's going to jump or not. And then just kind of, hold on, let's fix my outlines. So here we go. Am I zoomed in too much? Yeah. Sometimes that's the thing about, you know what? Hmm. This is actually not going to be, I'm not doing this middle outline. I'm doing, um, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste my left ear and do the same to the right ear because it's the exact same. By the way, I know I didn't do this like little weird, uh, ear bit. Uh, I don't really care. I'm just going to leave it out cause it's too detailed. Um, so where did I first start off right there, which is here, correct? Right here on this side. So this is going to be a run and then I'm going to do another run. So I'm going to go here, travel underneath that and then boom. And now I'm going to get this and is his hair the same too? It's a bit different. Oh no, it's not. Oh, this is like, I know I can't, it's too detailed. I can't, I can't have something there anyways. Um, I think his right side is the exact same. So I should be able to just control C control V. I'm going to click the arrows. So it moves like I, I don't move the like up and down. I'm going to go back to select, click here, flip horizontally back to my arrows and try to get it as perfect as can be. And now if I click J guys, look at that. No jumps. Um, what is this down here? That's like jumping. Nothing, nothing. Okay. So, so far guys, we have done the left and the right side and there are no jumps. I'm going to move his hair up a little bit. Maybe it's a little higher on this side. Um, but everything else is the exact same. Look at that guys Done the left and the right side. Now you can kind of start to see that this is looking kind of like him, by the way, the reason I could have done the middle. But then when I'm going to the eyebrows and the eyes and stuff, I won't have anything to travel underneath. Cause if I would have done all of this outline already, then I can't just go on top of that outline. So that's why I'm leaving this middle for the end. Cause it's kind of my traveling thing. So, so I'm going to start with the top and 
this is all going to be filled in, I think. So we're just going to run through it like this. And actually, just stop here because I'm going to fill this in. Like that. Whoops. Okay. And why is that? Why does it look weird? Why do am I? I swear I'm going like all the way to the edge. Okay. Noise. So there's his eyebrow. Okay. Looking a little strange for some reason. I think if I do that, I don't know. It just looks a little strange. I actually it doesn't look really that strange. Um, and then so start. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So start there. Finished here. And then I'm gonna jump all the way over. By the way, if you wonder where I zigzag, it's just so that in case you can see it underneath, like it's a little bit less noticeable that there's some zigzags going on underneath than like just a, a straight ass line. So that's why I kind of zigzag sometimes. I, even I like don't zigzag that much. Probably should a little bit more, but. And then there's this. And just because start's gonna be there. Uh, why is that jumping? Oh. Okay, there we go. So, so far, guys, this is what we've done. Um, well, this is what we've done, okay? Does one ear look a little bit stranger than the other? I mean, eyebrow. Yes. I tend to notice, I feel like it's just a drawing. You notice it more with embroidery, but this, like, all I'm, guys, I'm just copying what I see, okay? And, like, this ear down here just doesn't seem to be as sharp as, like, this one's like very sharp, so I don't know. Um, this yellow thing, by the way, guys, is if you haven't noticed by now, it's telling you which direction the stitches should go. So I'm just trying to make it somewhere where it's like friendly. I don't know. I'll deal with it later. So there's the eyebrow. And now, guys, sadly, the eyes are like in a bad place and it's going to have to jump. Sucks, but is what it is. Uh, where do I end off? Down there. So I'm going to jump down here. Boom. And now there's going to start being quite a few jumps. Uh, you can't prevent all the jumps. So, you know, you try your best. Here we go. And actually, this purple part, like I said, it's got to be, it's going to shrink. So it's got to be like exaggerated a little bit. But this purple part um, is actually going to be purple. And there's no jumps really when it comes to like when you're changing from one color to another because it cuts itself off anyways. Like you're doing it. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. You're doing a whole completely different color. So like you can't. You know there it's obviously gonna stop. And what I'm trying to do here, what I'm struggling with, is make this purple. There we go. Um, but it's gonna be the very first color that I do. So you know what? I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna make this one purple as well. It's going on a black piece of garment, so maybe you just won't see this stitch crossing. And what I'm trying to do is uh, just do his eyeballs and stuff, whatever like this random stuff is. Uh, this is a Renegon, guys, if you don't know. But his eyes have all of this. And like I said, his it's part of his eyeball and you don't want like this, whatever this thing is, like the eyeshadow or whatever. It's just his eye. I think it's just like shadow. Anyways, eyeshadow. Anyways, I don't want it had this eyeshadow or whatever it has to be on top of these. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? On top of these like re weird circles because this is still part of his eyeball. So here we go. You always, so what I'm trying to say guys, <laughs> it's very hard for me to explain while like, it's hard for me to think and embroider and stuff or speak and embroider, you know, you know what I'm trying to say is you want to work your way from things, from things that are behind to things that are in front of you. That is what I'm trying to say. Okay. For, because obviously you know, I'm not even going to try to explain it, but that is what I'm trying to say. So we have now finished 
the eyeball. We're going to see how it looks. I also need to keep in mind it's going to shrink. You know what? It's not going to shrink that much because it's going to be embroidering on top of this, which is a stitch. It's not as stretchy as a sweater, so it's not really going to shrink that much. So I should be able to just select all of them and maybe 1.2. That's going to help me out a little bit. Yeah, looks pretty good. I think that looks fine. So where did I end off? This is my last one. And I'm going to... Uh, end off actually here. And I don't know, can this, eesh, that's a very tight, like that's literally like half a millimeter. Can that, uh, that might be fine though, being embroidered like that. And then, oh, it's getting a little hard for me to see what this is saying because there's like all these lines in front of it. Um, I think it's like this. And then satin once again. Just help it, let it know where it's going to go. And it's going to end over here. And then do this one. And you might be thinking, he's not compensating. He's talking about all the shrinkage. Um, there is, like, I guess a function, you could say. It's basically what it is. In the most softwares, where you can, like, tell it how much to not shrink by. Instead of just doing it manually, you can do it automatic. So I'll show you in a sec once I fix this stuff up. I know I, I know this stuff is always like wavy. I just like to deal with it after. Um but this part's just this is too big. It needs to it's something's too small. Too small. The machine has trouble doing such little detail, like little small things, which is number one why you use satin, because it's better than using fill for little small things. And um, number two, why I sometimes don't add things. This here is kind of a big, like, corner. It also doesn't do tight good with, like, corners like this, which is really tight. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'm going to have to exaggerate. Maybe his eyelid or whatever this thing is, but it is what it, what it is. Um, and I'm also seeing that there's a little piece, like, his eyeball is actually sticking out. So I need to fix that because... Like I've been talking about, it can shrink. Things can shrink, but things can also, oops, double clicked it and it went away. Shrinks can also um, grow. And it's kind of like a toothpaste. You squeeze in, it's shrinking, but it comes out the other end. That's exactly what this stitch is going to do. It's going to squeeze in from the stitch way it's like stitching and it's going to come out this end. So I can't already, you know, I got to, I got to compensate for that. And anyways, guys. There is the eye. We'll go to jumps. The only jump is from the purple eyeball over to that, obviously. And also it looks like something here. Oh, whoops. That's uh, this. I noticed that with the software, sometimes when I do a run, it like, and I right click, it kind of like, I don't know, it messes itself up. The only jump is from a uh, purple thing and here. That's very good. Very, very, very good. And guess what? You might be thinking he still has so much. He's taking so long. Guys, y'all already know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to control C, control V. Move it on. Whoops. Move it on over. And... Perfect. Um, you might be thinking it's like, it's not the same as a photo. Sometimes <laughs> you yeah, they're drawing, you know, they can't be exact like the photo. So if anything, this is more exact than they're drawing. Anyways, it's jumping from there to there. It's quite a big jump. Mm. <laughs> However, it has to be done. I think I'm going to do this instead. Start, stop there. Here we go. Whatever. So we got like three jumps is what it is. Because what is that? Oh. <laughs> here we go. Oh, that's a little piece I did right there. So here we go, guys. This is what we're working with. Not too shabby. I'm not going to lie. Probably should have done the high band first. Because <laughs> now, I once I start doing a few jumps, I get really lazy and I just start doing everything as jumps. I'm like, whatever, I'll do with it then. Probably shouldn't have that thinking. But whatever. Um, we're almost done. What is my last thing? 
is this. I hate when it does this. It doesn't show me where it's going to stop. And when I copy and paste, it doesn't copy and like paste the endpoints. Anyways, I'm going to end it there. I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. I don't know what to do with this stupid nose thing. I think it's got to be film. It's It's got to be a film. I think I just don't know how. It's just the shape of it. I'm in love with it. It's so difficult. Here we go. Here we go. You know what? I know exactly why it looks trash. And I can fix it. But I know exactly why. Ooh, guys, I just had a protein shake. Yep. Let me tell you. It's not the best. And it's because this right here. Whoops. This just is this is about to tie it all in. Yup. Like I said, guys. Pretty freaking good. And then even though this one doesn't even have one, it's going to get one. Okay? It's going to be something uh, like that. That would be like a nose. Boom. There we go. That don't look too shabby. That's actually not bad at all. Wow, look at all those jumps. Man, I'm bad at what I do, guys. I know. <laughs> Listen, this was supposed to be a no jumping thing. But uh, I changed my mind. Okay? I changed it. So let's not hate. Let's appreciate. We'll try to keep... I mean, I did say... I don't remember when I said it, but I did say I get very lazy as soon as I start jumping just once. As soon as I jump once, boom, that's it. That's done. It's literally game over. Oh, I see. I forgot. That. There we go. See, look. We're getting some stuff done. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, start. There we go. Look. One, two, three, four, five jumps. It's going to take, like, two seconds to cut those five jumps. But, yeah. So, yeah. This looks weird. If this wasn't here... It just looks weird. I that I know this is, it's because it just looks weird. You know, you can't tell what it is, but now you can tell this is his nose, his nose, and yes. And where is this ending? Down there. That's actually a pretty good ending. So maybe move it down. And now, uh, we'll go back to trying not to jump. So I stick to the uh, border, and then we go there, because oh no, actually. I have to go this because if I would have done that first and then this like little arm, this little headband thing, um, the hair would have been underneath the headband, which ain't what we want, guys. It's not. Okay, here we go. Don't be afraid to uh to place a bunch of points. By the way, okay, don't be afraid. Damn, it's really hard to like see because because obviously like there's all my lines, but then there's the actual lines. From the photo, and it's kind of like hard to be able to tell, like what's what. But yeah, I know I I don't place many points, but I don't know. That's just me. This is me. There we go. And hmm. Mm hmm hmm. So it's either that or it's something like this. Either that, oops, with like that. That actually looks kind of good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I was gonna do it the other way, but I don't like it. I was gonna do like maybe this light gray is the filled in part and not the other part, but. No, I just, I don't, I don't look right. Yeah, 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 that just looks better. Okay, so let's get start. And we can stop there. Oh, wait. Yeah. That's a perfect place to stop. Start, I mean, stop there. And then boom. And then, yes. And then, turn on and off my camera and see if I'm missing anything. But I don't believe I am. <clears throat> so this is perfect place because I go here. And boom. And, oh, sorry. I keep saying boom. But now I'm going to go up here, click this little square. Or it might be a, uh, no, it should be a square for you guys. And that's basically just going to make a perfect square. Something like that. And then outlines, by the way, are usually like uh, default, like just like 3.5. <clears throat> so let's see. This has about half a millimeter. Okay, so these two can be, can come out just a tad. 
Why can't I click this? There we go. Like literally, oh my lord. Control left click to select two. Uh, maybe even a little bit more. And let's hide the uh, photo to kind of help us out. And yeah, look at that. This one's like ever so slightly though. And this one's a little bit more. Which one do I want? I kind of like how it's more. So now I'm going to... Like that. This should be pretty perfect. That's pretty perfect. Pretty perfect. That's like a funny... And then I, anyways, <laughs> go right here. Center design. And it's going to automatically center it. I'm going to hide the image. And there we go. I'm going to control S to <clears throat> save, guys. Don't forget to always be saving. Um, look at this. You can't even see the little where the armband thing was supposed to go. Hmm. So honestly, I might get rid of it. I do like it. It's just it's just useless though, so looks like that's it does like kinda I feel like it just somehow makes or breaks it. Let's see how good this mic is, by the way, guys, because Hmm. Because my parents are fighting, so. Um, let's keep this straight. Delete that. Delete that. And we'll push these up just ever so slightly. How does this seem? There's some... Uh, like that. I'll just get rid of it. I'll just get rid of it. Okay, there's no point. No one's ever going to tell. <clears throat> you barely noticed it. So, bam. There we go. There is no, uh, pain, guys. Just like that, we finish it up. Um, and I guess we'll print it out and we'll see what it looks like. But that's been it for this time.